Tuesday Got your girl in the cut and she choose a club going up on a Tuesday Got your girl Gil, yum 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 ring, Gil, yum yum. No, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> you okay? Did you have a stroke? I'm right? meditating. Anyway, welcome to <laughs> WLVS Radio. You're tuning into the open bar on a Tuesday. Is your meditation nom nom nom? Is that what you were saying? Nom nom ring, nom, yo, nom, yum 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 ring, Gil. Yo. Is that what they say? Anybody else too? Nom yum ring, nom yum ring, Gil, something like that. You don't do uh, yoga? Uh, That's Buddha. Sora? You do yoga? It's not yoga. Yeah, that's, that's namaste. Oh, namaste. Yeah, that's namaste. 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 No, relax. Mike. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> yum, yum. Oh, just go with Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. That's kind of relaxing. Anyway, <laughs> welcome to WLBS Radio. You're tuning to the open bar again on a Tuesday. You're supposed to say salud. 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 Did I say it right? It's, uh, no. Salud. Salud. That's bad. Salad with the U. Salad lewd. Yeah, I like that. There you go. Krillu. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> what is today's date? Today's, today's date. date is 219. 219. 219 19. 219 19. That was five days since Valentine's Day. Was everybody's Valentine's Day really good? Mm-hmm. Was yours good? We want, to, we want to know what the couple did. You have to come to the mic and tell us what the couple did for Valentine's Day. Cause we all still in love. No. Are you okay? Yeah. Can they see you on air? Cause you 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 looking uh, sharp, nice and pretty today. Uh, so you trying to say something about her any other day? She always look nice, but she. Okay looks... then. So then. What well, I say today. I said your wife look pretty. Right. right. Well, he, he, he gets. No. He gets, he gets one compliment per week. So there we go. That was uh, his uh, one. He used it. He used yeah, it. He's I have to use my compliment. He Red, told me. Like, you look like she don't look at her all the time. Right. <laughs> and you get and you get one diss per week. That was his diss. Okay. I don't <laughs> diss you, buddy. He got more. He got more in store. For he got more in right. store. No, no, um, I I wanted to not go out for Valentine's Day this year. I just. Did not want the drama of the uh, reservations, uh, the hundred and fifty dollar per plate meals that Ooh. I'm sure Tito was gonna be prepared to pay for. I was, and I said, "Can we just stay home and cook and chill?" And he said, "Absolutely." So, yes, let's get some five dollar or two dollar ramen noodles inside. <laughs> oh no 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 no! No, no it wasn't no. that. Well, I, I, no, I'm, I'm just saying. Well, no, I, so we still, we still, we still set up. You know, I'm, I got yes, it's just, I'm getting candles. I bought these little those little light flickers. I put on the table. Put a red tablecloth down. Cheese. Some flowers. <laughs> some, some decorations. Dollar Tree. Yep. No, he went to Walmart. No. He was so sweet. You did His that. Flowers. Oh, Safeway. Ten dollar Safeway. <laughs> but you know, I saw a meme that said, "Why well, spend five hundred dollars?" For a room and a two hundred, that you gonna do the same positions right. you gonna right. do at home. Yeah. So I was like, that is so true. I, I, took, I cooked a new uh, uh, Coco Vaughn. Uh, Ooh, Coco Vaughn. Yeah, so Coco Vaughn. Say it again. Coco, Coco Vaughn. It's uh, cock and wine is the. Uh, the it is. It was a sexy dish. Red she wine. She said cock. <laughs> <laughs> Get my cock dipped in wine tonight for Valentine's Day. We didn't even do anything. We fell asleep by 11. That's okay. That's another story. Y'all Bear, didn't have sex. Bear Party life. poopers. Right, married life. <laughs> she fell asleep on me. <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> married life. So I all y'all single folks, right. that's what y'all got to right. look forward to. Don't worry to. about it. After after all that, still might not get none. After all that, all that dollar money all you spend at the dollar I store. Know. Right. All that and dollar tree shopping. Do. All that dollar tree shopping. I was in that kitchen. That's the only ones that ain't did nobody wrong yet, right? The dollar the, store. Yes. Yeah, we'll see. We'll yeah. see. Cause well, I can. I'm gonna start making my own clothes because I can't trust nothing. So, <laughs> with my my friend, his wife, he said she used to always fall asleep in sex. All of a sudden, she start and she would fall asleep. Right, in the middle? Not in the middle, right before they told their sex. Oh. Yeah. So he fixed her well. He said she should wake up with her back sticky. And then by the time he said, "Well, you better no. take care of me before you go to sleep." So yeah, that's what it works. Hey, so, that works. Just keep that. There keep that go. in mind. No, Tito's not, not allowed to not jack awesome. off on my back while I'm asleep. Thanks, no. thanks God. I know. Well, it's not. It won't be. Yeah, he'll fault. stand over you. <laughs> this, <laughs> I have a special sock for that. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we did. So all of those people who, you know, feel like they were uh, they missed out on Valentine's Day, take it from people who love each other. We still fell asleep. Oh. We still didn't have sex. <laughs> oh. Still ain't get shit. Still ain't Dang. Get no. <laughs> But the dinner was good. It was really, really good. Mm. I outdid myself, I must say. Nice. I did that. 
And Speak I posted, for yourself. Course, and of course, I posted it on social media. I that's saw it. It looked nice. That's why I like asked. That's why I asked. Yeah. It, was, it, was, it looked good. I didn't think it was, it was really good. I didn't think that you made it. I thought it was catered or something. Oh, I thought you did. Adorable. Honestly, yeah. I really did. Yeah, I, I like that's what you get. Look, I like you got one, one compliment a day, and uh, here you go one. again. <laughs> See? one. That's my friend. He's supposed to do that. All right. I like that. He don't understand that. He don't understand the whole constitution. He doesn't bound. anything. He doesn't. No, have I don't. Anything. That's because he he connected. Because he connected to some a girl. Had to come save us. That's right. I hope not. Uh, <laughs> they so, had to come save us financially. You're right. We need to do that. Do you? Ooh. No. No. We History. we we brought them in. We 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 united for women help. and men together. Not Can't to do help. On our own. We yeah, we you know we united. They showed us how to clean, it, cook. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. See. Anyway, my Valentine's Day was sweet. Tell mm-hmm. me about it. I went to, I took my daughter to see that new movie with Taraji. Yes. It was amazing. She was did a good, good it was oh, a really oh, good no, movie. What movie is that? Um, what a Man Wants yeah. or whatever. Oh, okay. And it, she did a great job remaking that movie because you know the original movie was Mel, made with, Mel with Gibson. Mel Gibson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I thought it was funny too. I liked that movie. It was but good. But her version I was the amazing. Verse, the, I thought it was the before that. Version, right? Mel yeah, Gibson was yeah. Mel was he what a woman wants, and this was oh. what a man wants. So she was it funny? Hilarious! Like she did a good job. She was she wasn't too ghetto. What she wasn't too, you know, she was perfect. And I she can't was, wait to see it. She was so manly. Like the sex scenes was like, you know, it's hilarious. She was just funny. Man. I can't wait to it see it. It was a good show. I, I, so we went there, and then we went to Carolina Kitchen oh. for dinner. You and your mm-hmm. daughter, me and my so daughter. Sweet. Then after that. I dropped her back to her mom's house. Mm-hmm. And then I went to the hideaway with all the lonely women. And I got my dance on. <laughs> I freak the on. the hideaway? Where is that? The hideaway oh, is located in um, Clinton, Maryland. In Clinton. Oh, okay. Is that a strip club? No, no it's a, um, it's a karaoke. Club. It's a, like a, a it's hood a club. Bar. It's a little hood bar. It's a I, hood I used bar. to be around Clinton. Branch Avenue? What? Right off Branch. It's, it's the right bar. off of Branch Avenue. the Gold's Gym? I mean, yes. that goes the uh, Planet Fitness. Near the right, right fish on market. the other side. Near the fish market. Or the fish bowl or whatever. Fish market. Fish market. It's on the other side. Uh, yeah. So, so it's on the other side of Branch Avenue. When I Over tell there you. Over there with the Pizza Hut and the KFC and the yes, 7-Eleven. Yes, 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 yes. It's right in that area. So oh, okay. when I tell you that place was lit, like it was packed. With like single people, we just had a good time. Drinks were cheap. Drink, drinks are amazing there, by the way. Sometimes I celebrity bars in there. If you ever want to come there on a Thursday night, sometimes I get behind the bar help out. But I'm just. Saying. But anyway, yeah, I had a good time. Karaoke was off the chain. They have some of the best singers in the DC or DMV area come there. It was we had one of those good serious time. karaoke's where if you can't sing, don't don't do it. No, people get up there who can't sing. Okay. I mean, I can sing. For you know, I'm yeah. a I'm a professional. What do you sing, Beyonce? Right. I'm a sing, huh? You sing Beyonce? You get up there? I I have done Beyonce yeah. before. I did. Um, <laughs> I did. Uh, what's the song? Uh, Single ladies, huh? Uh, single ladies. You're not gonna. You're not gonna, gonna do that. Single ladies. Tell him. <laughs> tell him I can do that though. <laughs> tell him that I win us some tickets at a cruise. He did it. Yeah, he did. He did. No, go. but no. Let's ex- explain how <laughs> I did it though. You got video. You explain video. how tell me, I did. Tell me you did this. He's, he had a fifty dollars shirt on. He ripped that motherfucker off. No, but tell him why he I did. He's like, like I just home. picked to do it. Tell him how how. Because the other dude done. made you. <laughs> no, brought it we out were we were on a cruise. The other dude brought it out of him. Want to sing single ladies? Pause. Pause. That didn't come out right. We were on a. But is it true? No, we were on a cruise. We were on a cruise. You were on a pride and cruise. And they do, they were doing a no. dance a dance uh, contest. Competi- okay. con- contest. So we did not know he was going to pick this song. So he picked one guy and three women behind you. Okay. So it, with me, he picked me and three of the people with my friends, the females, came with me. Mm. He picked this other guy, which was an alpha dude, and three white women, right? And they all were back there. So... <laughs> We so he was like, okay, now you guys have to. And the best person wins. I think it was drinks all night or something like that. Or drinks for the rest of the. I can't remember. What it, was it was some te- some the, the four of us were to get drinks or right. something like that. And so we get there and then like he was like, okay, we're gonna play the song. So I'm thinking we just gonna have to do a dance off. All the single lady came on. I said, oh god, I have to win this money. I need this drink. <laughs> I, I know this. I've, I practiced this in my right. bedroom in my right. mirror. I've never practiced, but I didn't know I knew as much as I did. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> so of course the the white women, most of the women that with me, they had, no, it wasn't. The most of the women that with me had short haircuts, you okay. know, and stuff like that. So when they do that little part like this, uh-huh. their hair not moving. So the white women was like 
doing it. They were getting it. So uh-huh. I was like, oh, Lord, we're going to lose this drink. So I had to do All it. All because so. the, the girls didn't have so a hair to swim. No, I mean, they off. were just <laughs> able to move it a little. Because Beyonce, you know, had the white okay, woman. So, so at what point did you decide, okay, I, I the only way you win is if I rip my shirt So, you know, you had to do that. I did all that, you know, that part, right, all that right. crap. And then that's when I ripped my shirt. I didn't like any shirt. Of it. And then that's when the crowd went crazy. And we won the drinks, people. Right. We won the drinks. Uh, Brad, what you do for Valentine's Day? How did you treat your special people? Yeah, your how life? did you treat your special? So I worked. You worked? I worked. On purpose, so you don't have to oh, be around Oh, don't do that. I'm asking. No, nah, I just worked. Okay. Because it was your day to work? Mm-hmm. Okay. So. Awkward. So. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. There you go. Cackle clap is not funny. I'm just wondering. You know. I work. Did you give anyone any flowers sent to their job? No nah, edible arrangements? Uh, the big Hershey mm-hmm. Kiss joint, you know, you can buy from 7 Eleven. Why do all that? You didn't do nothing, actually. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. I didn't do all of that. You didn't do anything. Nah. Nothing. I got a tablecloth. Jeez. You got a tablecloth. At least got that. You went downstairs to the basement and got it. Like, oh, I had a folded right. That had a folded just right. Yes, you did. So it's a crazy because I got two anonymous gifts this year. I still don't know who gave Sexy. them to me at work. That was pretty cool. Yourself? No, Go I didn't. Ahead. Normally, I do buy myself something to make just in case. You know, just for the look. No, I'm just I do the whole Jesse Smollett thing. Oh, but um, I'm boy. just kidding. We're going to talk about that in Hot Topics. Okay. We're going to talk about that in Hot Topics. He is so fire. But we've been talking about that for the last three weeks, but... <laughs> well, we thought we We've only been here for one. Y'all in here, huh? But not, but Y'all only been here for one, but we week, talked about last week. Out yet, though. Had, not had not as, exten- as intense as it is now, but we yeah. are going to talk about that in Hot Topics. Okay. But I did, like I said, I did get two anonymous gifts. I don't know who gave it to me. At work? At work. Oh, your work base. <laughs> I have a lot of work yeah, That's what you want to call So do you have a problem with your wife having a, a work husband? Uh, well, she, uh, yeah. yes, when she, yeah, when she works the problem. business that she works, she works for, she, she for herself. So no, yeah, but if problem. she worked in a corporate world, she had a work husband, would that be an issue? Uh, not necessarily, but it would just have to be, uh, he had to be gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> would you have a problem with him having a work wife? It depends on what the, the line. Low, low, she sound like this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she can't be like ironing his clothes or fixing nothing. No. But if she, she can't bring know, him food, she bring him a snack. Food. He love a snack. Yes, yeah, please bring him a snack. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's fine. Snack. Bring him a snack. He can bring. Coca-Cola. You know, he likes beef jerky. Bring him a Coca Cola. Bring him a Coca Cola. He'll well, be fine. Shout out to the stack houses. Their anniversary was on Valentine's Day. And oh yeah, shout out to the stack. That's my sister. She always said like, her, 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 my, they my, got married on Valentine's Day. They, they got married fourteen. Fifteen years ago on Valentine's. Oh, that's no, fifteen precious. years ago on Valentine's. It wasn't that long. I thought it was longer than that. No, actually, it wasn't even ten years. It's probably ten years. You sure? I thought it was longer than that. No, your, your, your baby was born already. She so. got me wrong. <laughs> she, that was so wrong. My sister's gonna kill me. Oh, just, right. She's gonna kill me. This is my sister. But it's just, okay. happy anniversary. They had a wonderful they had anniversary. They had a child out of wedlock, and you ain't forgave her yet because you still well, bringing it up. It's my child's out of wedlock, so I can't. Yeah. Uh, right, but so you just like, see. So it's like their kids sixteen, so they've been married ten years. Yeah, they've been. Married. <laughs> okay. Mm. Because no, no, the baby was a ring bearer. No, she's 18. So she's 18. She just turned 18 so today, matter of fact. Oh, so wow. Whatever it is, it's numeric less than I can't age. believe my sister's going to kill me sitting here talking about her business yeah. on, on a live way. You didn't say her name. Hey, hey, Lisa. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> her full name. You went to the full name, Stackhouse. too. And last name. <laughs> yeah, you already knew the last name, right? Yeah, Jerry Stackhouse. I'm surprised she didn't call me. Or he didn't call me. Call but me but I want to shout out my brother in law, who's the, he's he, the best chef in D.C. area. He nice. owns a barbecue business called uh, Stack Brothers Barbecue. Is that smoking? Stack. Smoke Stack Brothers Barbecue. I'm sorry. And it's amazing. He has Where like is the, it? Like his ribs, you do not need sauce. You ever had ribs where you don't need the sauce? Huh? You don't like ribs. But anyway, he make good ribs, barbecue, he make uh, seafood, all that. Okay, it was the best. Okay. So we had a seafood <laughs> boil at his house yesterday. No. And okay. it was really good. So and my brother, shout out to the Stackholders and happy anniversary to you guys. Happy anniversary. Many, many more to you. Yeah. So everybody saw her. I feel the love. I feel the yes, love. Yes. Even Dave, you felt the love. Not, not at awkward. all from there. Awkward. Okay. Awkward. Work. Anyway, we, uh, <laughs> we'll go to a, a quick break and we'll come back with our drinks. drink of the day. Let's, let's some drinks. And some hot topics. Give hot us a call at 202 656 1 bar. Uno bar. <laughs> you know what? Damn.
Yo, welcome to WLVS Radio. You're tuned into the open bar. Salute. 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 Yo, um, don't forget to check out our, what do you call it? Apparel. Prefer- uh, apparel. Clothing apparel. I call it paraphernalia, but they say it apparel. Apparel. I call it paraphernalia, but <laughs> our apparel. Paraphernalia I'll always sounds like something you can go to jail for. That's something that you would need Tito over there for. Well, <laughs> cash law. Non, 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 non Greek, law. Like, non Greek they, they will understand. But um, anyway, I'm rocking this. This is our, our our fashion line. Look at it. Check it out. Check it out. Look at the back. Can they see the back? Unfortunately. Uh, there you it, go. It, it's sunk in, but I mean, that's, that's <laughs> another prop. It's, it's, it's stuck in the crease, in the fold. Yeah. It's in the fold. It's in the fold. I'm a little. You uh, know, the fold is actually little, supposed to go out, but yours went in. I'm a little annoyed by y'all looking at my ass, but it's okay. No, it wasn't your ass, your it was your back. back. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever, whatever floats your boat, you know, God is good. Uh, you know, all the time. But anyway, you can order these shirts online. Dave, show them yours. He got on a bra and everything. Uh, <laughs> There you go. Nice. Anyway, you can OP. order these shirts online at openbartuesday.gmail.com. Part of the proceeds to benefit local charities. Y'all, we have a $5,000, um, we go, quota. And we are now at what? Zero. So y'all help us out. <laughs> order these shirts. We're going to do our thing for our local charities. We're trying to do some big things here in 2019. Y'all help us yes. out. Don't forget while you're on, while you're watching on Facebook and all everything else, go ahead and log into our YouTube channel. Subscribe to it. Um, you can subscribe to WLVS Radio on YouTube. You can see all the other shows that WLVS has to offer. Not only this wonderful show, yo, I'm not an alcoholic, but this is like my favorite segment of the show. Everybody know that, right? Yeah. Yo, out. One of them. One of. <laughs> Drink of the day. Hey, drink of the day! Hey, 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 hey. hey. We, need, we need the sound, man. <laughs> what is that? What is Nas? Don't lie to me, man. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is a wonderful drink. It's giving me uh, kind of like sensual. What is it called again, Jay? It's called Red Moon Over Manhattan. Red Moon Red Over Moon Manhattan. Over Man- that name Red Moon Over Miami. Uh, I don't know. My sister sent me the drink. Somebody so sent me the drink. Definitely a good drink. Decided to make it. It's delicious. Dave, what's what's the yeah. ingredients in this? It has uh, red wine, mm. bourbon, simple syrup, <laughs> mm. um, er, orange peel, and uh, cherry for garnish. That's sexy. It's an orange. Okay, <laughs> this is an orange slice. Like, that sounds like the weather is breaking. Like I right. To, <laughs> no, this this sounds like weather breaking. Uh, a drink right there. But this drink right here is something that you want to get snowed in with, you know, and chill with your. You know, Yo, with your boots they shut down the government, by yeah. the way. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. The, government the government is, government shut, is shut, down. shut down. I'm so happy. That's why I, well, I can get well, drunk the... tonight. I'm so happy. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? So Not happy. shut down as in Trump shut down. I need to change my language no. right now because, you know, that We're actually closed. happened. It's closed. The government Inclement weather policies are Inclement weather. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So if you, if you work for the federal government, do know that you are now, it's been announced, OPM has closed you tomorrow. No. What do you guys know snow day? Like, OPM. I'm be working. You'll be working on a snow day? day? I am, because I'm usually working all the time. That's uh, right. You work there from home no a lot. There's no days off, so, right? So, you know, I have a big event real coming life. on Friday. Uh, the VIP registration is closed. So, you're going to be um, working and doing that? So, well, I'm preparing for Friday because it's a really big deal. It's going to be an experience. It's going to be a really big deal. Well, are you paying? Because I will work while I'm home, too, if you're paying. Oh, I put, a, need to put my mic up. Put my mic sound nice. You Check probably should hold that mic in your hand. I need to so, just scoot it up. Or no, something. hold it in your hand like you like you're saying. I some back up over here. With I this. don't think it moves up. It does move up. Lower. Uh, Derek says he's going to barbecue. The barbecue man is the mayor in Virginia. Says so he's going to barbecue for us. This is I'm humbled to have friends that would want to barbecue for us. For you or for a snow day? For Friday's, for Friday's event. Barbecue, oh, what are you missing? Oh, Friday's what's event. Friday's what's the event? Know, what's the event? What's the event? Yeah. Oh yeah. So uh, Friday. Yeah. Uh, February 22nd, it's granular form. Uh, we're bringing together like minds from the nonprofit space to business space, but really just kind of a space to connect, to vibe, you know, really find that missing link. A lot of times you're looking for that thing that's going to take your program, your business, or your project over the edge. And you need to really, maybe you need that conversation, that one transformational conversation that's going to, you know, put you over the edge. And so granular form is about all of that. And for my VIP guests, I'm creating an experience. So thank you all for registering. 
Uh, and I'm looking forward to Friday. Looking forward to Friday. Well, that's gonna be okay. amazing. So we are gonna yeah. give you your salute moment. Salute, salute. 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 without drinking today. What is it salute. called again, Dave? Red, Red Moon over Miami. Red Moon, uh, Red Moon over Miami. Miami. Manhattan. Over Manhattan. Send me the details. Manhattan. I'm feeling it already. I'm feeling it already. This is really that's good. Let me see. Yeah. How do you feel? How do you it's, like the drink? It's, it's delicious, right there. The now. first, the first one was a little bit stronger. The first sip. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you don't like it strong. We're gonna talk you know, to you about that. Nice 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 We're gonna talk about you. Yeah. Talk to you about that love, sexual relationship. Talk to you about that love, sexual relationship. <laughs> Where is the pastor tonight? He, you guys are trying to. Steal He's on his way. His part of the show. But you guys are actually today is his birthday. I'm, so. I'm hoping oh, yeah. today. Happy birthday, yeah, We got a little cake for him if he could ever yeah, if he make it up. I mean, he, he not listening. Yeah, but yeah. anyway, Eric, oh, I'm glad that the so camera's is, a little back because I got a little LeBron thing, James thing going on right so now. So yeah. Lebanon, James. Radio, yeah, I don't Open see bar. my little LeBron going on. You but guys, give anyway. a plug real quick. They want to know what uh, show we're listening to, just real quick. Well, who? And this is the mayor down in Virginia, so I'll get you some Virginia viewers. Uh, a plug of the show today. The show, the show is called... Right? Tell them what Open the show is bar. Open yeah, bar. You, you, oh, well, he need to be looking a on a plug. So we have to work on our thing. lingo a little bit because everybody looked at me well, like, if, what if is he, a plug? If he get on the right Facebook instead of yours, we can. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the sh- the, a drive by shade attack. Right. No, it's <laughs> not <laughs> drive. It's right. You go to the Mr. Shade hey, himself over it. here. Open bar Tuesdays.com. Open bar Tuesdays.com. Drive by shade. Anyway, y'all ready for some hot topics? All right, let's do it. Hot topics. I'm going to start off with the biggest thing that's going on. Of course, we've been talking about Mr. It's gotta be a real hot topic. We've been talking about Mr. Smollett all for the last three weeks. Yeah. Each time it kind of elevated. This yeah. time it's like extremely elevated. Last yeah. week we kind of was hitting on it. We knew a couple of things that was going on, but right now it's like really getting serious. Now those Nigerian brothers really spilled the tea, baby. So, so if, if, okay, so let, I have one question. <laughs> one question. Okay, I need somebody to answer. You had to drink the tea for that one for Ooh. the question. The question is, okay, if these gentlemen did in fact say that he paid him to do this, yeah. and why is Smollett not arrested? That's my only question. Well, if this was uh, a, a legitimate be. claim. No, seriously, think about this, right? Think about the allegations, and let's, mm-hmm. let's be very, very clear about what these allegations are saying. If this was in fact accurate from these gentlemen that the that Chicago police is claiming uh, to say these things, why is Smollett not arrested right well, now and keep in mind Nigerians. chicago it was also Nigerians. chicago was right. also uh, in the conversation with r kelly in the r kelly ring of cover-ups so let's be clear about that right so why is Smeller not arrested i mean he will I be eventually eventually it, of what it, eventually it, it, of, it, of, the of they eventually. nigerians right and they've so been scammed so by a couple until nigerians that time on where they emails. can say that this is this confession is solidified enough for me to arrest this person based well, on what they're what telling they us. Doing. The arrest will be on no. filing a false police report, right? Yeah. 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 It could yeah. be on any how, number. How long, how long, how long and they said they were going to prosecute you, you guys. How long you yeah. go to jail for filing a false police report? Well, it, it, it depends. It's it depends only a police report. They said they said that. How do we let the lawyer? I mean, even still. Oh, there we go. No, no, no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm providing more information to it. As far as they said they was going to prosecute to the fullest extent. What are all the charges? What are all the possible right. charges I, I don't know. I don't that know he could receive for such a claim? Well, at the very least, uh, filing a false, uh, false police report, making false statements to an officer during the front investigation. It's against the law. And lying to an officer, and probably lying to a, to a, to a judge as well, <laughs> to talk to a judge at any it's point. Against the law. <laughs> yeah, so, so it, it all depends. It, 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 it's all different versions of, 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 of making false statements to the police. Give us the maximum that they said to the fullest extent. It depends on the law. I don't know Chicago law. Okay. All right, so we got to find out Chicago law. If anybody knows Chicago's law, well, actually, right. how, how would you research? Can anybody can research? My, I would do my, she, my laptop is in the car. Your laptop is. I'm on live. live. Yeah, I would totally look it up yeah. right now. Oh. But if anybody has access right but, uh, now, we're looking at the Dave, Chicago laws like, to back. determine what's the maximum laptop. extent for this. Oh, I mean, we're really if this is really what they're trying to claim right. to say. Y'all silly. We can't. He said yeah. you can't do your own thing. You, well, you can. I'm just. We're, we're, oh, the you're doing your okay. show, and we're trying to do the show at the same time. That's. She with her it's a crazy. Yeah. You guys are hello. Hi yes. right, guys. Yes. Welcome to Open Bar. I'm, I, I, I'm a guest today. Are you? <laughs> no, you're a host. You're a host. I'm a guest on the show today. <laughs> no, you're but not. But we just got right into it. We didn't even get a chance to like. Well, let, let's. It's just your say. fault. So <laughs> it's my fault. Go to the dishes up. No, well, what we do know is that. Uh, there were two men that they that they well let's say initially he said that they were these were white guys. I don't remember 
remember him ever saying he the did. the race. Damn, Snow White. I'll be trying he to. They were white. I didn't see that. This is a mask male white. He just said they had on mask men. I said he said, her he mask. Said he did not say he said white, white men. I was looking for that. I was look, I, I'm not. I did not see theater. that. And I've been. Look, I did not read that. So he said they were masked I, men. He said I, they blurted out. They blurted out several races, races, racial slurs as well as homophobic slurs. So where did the bleach and because I haven't followed honestly, it's just a lot of pieces to this, and I sincerely have not hey, followed I, this enough because look, I've been. I put some clothes in the. In the, in the uh, <laughs> I got some bleach on, and it's still stained. Where did it? That's not coming back. Bleach. So I, but I've never back. followed it closer to see what because I saw a portion of an interview, and so I honestly have just not been a part of the hysteria about this. But I also believe in fairness and due process. Is with my my. I agree. I mean, yeah. like I I, I want to. I hate to say this. I want to believe that it really happened, even though I don't want it to happen. But only for because mm. I want Jesse not, not have lied to have not lied. Yeah, I just, because I just for some need reason a little he, bit more than Jesse. Yeah. You know, to I me, he represents. Well, they have a lot. To me, he represents I, I, uh, when, humanity. At this and point, he is. I, I mean, because he's always been like a. To me, in watching the show and his man, his character, he seemed to be an upfront, up. You know, he's been no, open about his sexuality. Here, here, here's the thing: he's been this, open happens, about, this is the first time uh, he, he received a death threat over a letter over cut up. And they didn't take it serious. But how do we know that was true? If by going by, oh, no, by so everything, 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 now we no, got no, a question. No, no. Let's yeah. leave this no, no. conversation because it's a that's, slippery slope. That's a that, that, that's a question now because he was allegedly um, upset that they didn't get enough coverage, right? For for him getting that that death letter, oh. that might be the motivation for for doing this here. So, How so sick what, would he be what the police found like was the the the, the hardware <laughs> store receipt and credit. It's credit. stretching, guys. We're well, stretching here. What, what the, I, what the, this, this is what they got. The, the, the police have the credit card receipts and, and the purchase of the, of the rope. That was the, the, the rope that was used that was found around around his neck. They found it in a Nigerian yeah, house. Yeah, they, they have the images yeah, of a Nigerian house. So here's house. what I would like us to do because this is a human being Nigerians and it's testified to it already. They've already, they've already corroborated. What they need now is corroborating text messages, right, and video. Okay, and and the bank deposits from uh, from where uh, Jesse is supposedly yeah. paid him thirty five hundred dollars. But can Until I tell y'all my philosophy? Made, I would like to not even further go along right. the slippery slope of, of condemning this man. Well, I wouldn't say condemn him. Like, you know, listen, we got to put it out there. Yeah. 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 Well, this is a human. The memes out are there. funny, but this is also about humanity. And and at the end of the and, day, and if it's true, if what he died, he, he you know he when they when they right. make an arrest for and, and start to mm-hmm. actually charge him with these allegations, then I'm then I'll look and see how that unfolds. You're gonna clown until it's done because you know it's true. Yeah. 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 Still like, like, like my grand claim to be the gay Tupac. And, and you you done set this up. He, and then like my grandmother said. said guys, you guys are mean. Like my grandmother. said that for himself. You're right. He like, said he, that. He didn't say gay, the, gay the, Tupac. Yes, he did. He said I'm the gay Tupac. So he set himself up for these memes and this. this yeah, this, you can put your head down on that yeah. one. I was rooting for you, Jesse. <laughs> we all were. Tired yeah. Did they do the tire memes yet? I know. I've been doing it. Oh, you need to do it. But you know, I saw a meme today. Well, I saw one with Jesse Smollett. He was Jesse Smollett. He was sleeping really nicely. And the meme says, How do you sleep well when you tell a big Jesse! lie? And he was just knocked out looking nice and real. <laughs> no, Did you the see best one where they put no, Michael Jack Michael Jordan face the yes, crying? That was All right. No, no, I think Move the best right one on. is the best one is oh, with uh, God for my they had him in the Bronco like OJ was back oh, in '95. No, I didn't see that. I didn't see the Bronco. No, and then I they, saw did, the Bronco. they did one. You guys are not nice. Okay, they did one where the woman was fighting. She was if like, I did it, this is how we did no, it. No, she was fighting herself. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, yeah, they, from the, they took that oh, clip yeah. from uh, the movie with um. Uh, I forgot what that was. Um, where she was That's hitting it. herself with the. Oh, oh, oh! You, I know what you said. Well, oh, oh, thin line between love and hate. Thin line, yeah. And also, look at Jesse getting and they rehearsed it. I'm not black. I'm Jesse. No, okay, were, no. Okay, yeah. no. This is the end. We must say we're praying for you, Jesse. Listen, sincerely and truly. Just because your you family, did it, I see but, family but, represented. But again, I felt, hey, I again, I want to know. I want to know from our legal guru. Again, I want to know. I gotta yeah. get what, this subject. Do you know what exactly <laughs> he's, he's up from? Like, okay, we know his charge. We know the charges. Yeah. Unfalsely, uh, false, false police, police, false police, false police report. Various different forms of. Is that has charge. that is that something that can put you in like? Jail for like yeah, years. no, yeah, it, 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 it took it very seriously, and and what and what, what what the next step is they want to bring him in to talk to him. Which, you know, if, I don't know if you watch first forty eight. They brought him in yet, right? Yeah, if you watch first forty eight, mm-hmm. you know, you know, come in, about, come in, come on in, and talk but, to him. Let me ask you this end? real You said you like, bought the bottle at eight fifty seven, right? <laughs> right. So, so listen to this, okay? Listen, you know you don't fuck Listen to this, right? Okay, listen to this, right? Let's hear her question. Okay, so the second question is from from a legal perspective. If you have this 
amount of evidence, right? If I am a prosecutor, I would on never go case, to Chicago willingly. Here, here's here's what I'm, I, here's I would my not go point. To Chicago. Here's my point. Here's my point. And I really want to not assassinate any further because the memes are too funny. But this is a real point, right? <laughs> if this is actual factual evidence that the prosecution has against Smollett, right? Why on earth would I want would I want that information to be released? That contaminates my case. It can be thrown out if, for a fact. They are attempting to use this against them well, because it's already been. If I wasn't telling the lie, I wouldn't I want to so, give it up? So, 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 tell me from that perspective, um, if this, if this none of the evidence is, 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 has been legally obtained, it's not been. It's, so that's it's what I'm shared, saying. So it's not, all hearsay. So right now, what's happening is all speculation. Well, I'm on the same level. So, so we don't so know if it's we're hearsay. All, okay, we don't. Well, we, not, we don't know exactly how well, far. That's the reason hearsay. why I'm waiting for well, the let, story to unfold. So, so hearsay is a statement made made out of court, made in court for the truth of the matter asserted. It means it's something you heard someone else say, and now you're repeating it in court, but you didn't mm-hmm. say it. So that the, the technical definition of hearsay. Now, so by that definition. Or by the, the layman the, the definition that you're using now, um, Smollett's also, uh, accusations are the same, carry the same weight as theirs do. So why, why uh, by the same token, why ostracize the people who attacked him when they're just allegations as well? One more so time, right, one more time. So if you're saying Jesse, Jesse deserves the benefit of the doubt, then one of his attackers also. I never, also. I never attack his attackers. So, so here's right. what I'm saying though, right? They, what I'm saying is that we cannot, at this point, we do not have enough information at this point to decide one way or the we other. We don't, but and we don't know two, what the police got. And no. two, we, we don't sure know they that. Wouldn't, they and wouldn't two, have made this whole big deal if they didn't have two, something. Right. I am no well, longer living in the court of public opinion. Even though, uh, unfortunately, this yeah. is where the mass majority of well, folks my did thing. you see the memes with Scooby yeah. Doo and oh, them? <laughs> yeah. uh, listen, move it right along. Oh, 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 what's the other meme? <laughs> He's uh, the legal Jeopardy. Like, they say that Jesse yeah. made Jesse made history for Black history. He's the first Black yes. man. That was, <laughs> Why you yeah. gotta do it on Black uh, History Month? No, what do you say? The black, black, black no, history he's the first black man. He's the first and black man to ever uh, uh, successfully, successfully, successfully uh, hire his own no, attackers. No, successfully, successfully uh, something about a white person. We need to throw um, Black History uh, Month. Uh, I mean, this Black History Month. Exactly. Exactly. He wasn't no white people doing different. You know, know. Enjoy, I want to ask our engineer. But, but, can you do me a favor? No, I just I have to take a pause real quick. I would like to ask our engineer to come on over real quick. I had a question for Why, you. Why? Because he's a white guy? It's see, not precious. just because not he's a white guy, because here. he's my no, friend. I'm so joking. He's so, so because I really want, you, you know, I feel like I need more of my friends that look like, that don't look like me to, do to what? weigh in on the on how you Black History Month is assassinated. Let me let me get the question. The the Black Black History Month one is a joke. It gives us the shortest month in the year, and then two, it is intentionally assassinated and, and we hijacked. Well, we don't have to accept it just for one right. month of the year. We, get well, half we don't month. have to. No, no, no. Not that we are accepting it. So that's that's let's just not. We're not. I've I never accepted Black History September. Month. I've always been Black. But you know what? I'm gonna give you a whole. But segment. I'm just saying that's a great segment for you. I'm gonna give you a whole is, segment. To talk about. That's a, a good segment for you oh, okay. to talk about your Black I, History Month. All right, no, Black History Month. No, that's a great I, segment. It really I think is. I mean, they are that. robbing. They are hijacking what is so called to be the given month. Save that for, for your blacks. segment. You're gonna come right up. I just got a new segment, guys. I've moved on up in the world. No, you always had your segment. Don't do that. Hijacking of Black History Month. Yo, and that'd be a good segment for you. That'd be a great segment. Hijacking of Black History Month. But you know, from this, just moving on with. Talk. From yes. this mm-hmm. um, Jesse Smollett situation, there's been a lot of other stuff that's been revealed as far as people doing bad claims to the whole, how you say, MAGA or MAGA? MAGA. 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 MAGA's Make fighting America. back. Those guys yeah. are doing their own there's videos. Been, there's been several different um, people reporting things that happened to them. It was it's all lies. MAGA. Yeah, there was a, a, yeah. a young lady uh, cool. located in California in college. She said that she received... She received several death threats yeah. or whatever. They no, found that to be lies. not true. The, there was the, uh, the, the guy that had his uh, truck painted. It happens. The guy that had his truck, they caught the black guy on air spray mm-hmm. painting the truck. He went to jail, mm-hmm. tried to say that it was a uh, MAGA, um, uh, MAGA I, I situation. Hate to, I hate to not care, but it, uh, Emmett Till, you know, they lie on us, so they be all right. So uh, that's a factor in, right? <laughs> and, be all and, right. And when you, look at, when you look at the larger scale... You know, you wonder how do we go? How do we function if we are always being reactionary? That went over our head. We're I don't drunk. think. I, okay, I, I, no, I, really, sorry. because every other day it is a new protest. It's a new boycott. It's a new. It's a new blackface. It's a new uh, Me Too. It's a new uh, 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 clothing line that's degrading African Americans. And so, I think it, the intention of the reactionary strategy is is a again. No conspiracy theorists here, but it's all a distraction. Yeah. 
Well, you, and well we, that's we, the power of social media. It's a it, it's it's fast, it's hard, and it burns out quick. And that's you know, what everything yeah. fast and, it's, and everything. hard. And it's fast, out. it's okay. hard, and it burns. Y'all that sounds like mature. a nasty girl from around. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's fast and hard. Fast, hard ass. I'm just saying, like, everything is so sensational. Only sensation. at open bar. Only at open bar. Everything Only is so sensationalized. Like, we care about everything and every issue. Next week, it's another issue. Well, you it's know, which thing. means, so which is I, why. Next week, I'm the next day. Really say which is why I love, have you guys been following the new show, Boomerang on BET? No. Boomerang, no. Oh, my God, it's a great show. Y'all need to watch it. Is it based off of the movie or? It's based off the original movie, okay. but not really. The characters aren't like really Boomerang, that. The movie with Eddie Murphy. Wait, the movie with Eddie Murphy. Oh. The, the movie is based upon the um, Eddie Murphy and Halle Berry's daughter. She's the. Oh. They own the, the advertisement company. Oh, the daughter works okay. there now. I feel it. She wants to do her own thing. Then That's they got right. a guy that kind of resembles Marcus, the character, which is played by the young guy Marcus. from from Everybody Hates Chris. <laughs> I cannot yeah. think his name. But the, the breakout star is the Strong J on the show. Which y'all remember Strong J from the show? Oh, what episode mm. is it? Yes, there, well, it's been two episodes so far. The Strong J on the show was played originally played by um, Grace, Grace Jones. Jones, the new girl who is the funniest person on, on Instagram right now. I love her. Her name is Lala. Yeah, if you guys don't know her, go on Instagram and Lala, check her out. What? She is hilarious. What's her name? Let on? me say this. Her too. name is Lala. Um, you know, I can't think, but she's been doing. She does all these comedy bids on um, Instagram and like. Oh, now, I, I. What think does she, she look like? like? Well, if you guys are familiar with the guy from, um, she hangs out with. The guy, he dresses like a woman. He wears green hair. He, was, he did a Janet Jackson thing. He was in a Janet Jackson video. Oh, okay. Um, I cannot think her name. I know right who now. you're talking Too about because stuff. one of them. Oh, she does have. A, okay, Lala and he has pink lips. W- green, yeah, he wears okay. green hair. Okay, blaming okay. K, K blaming okay. okay. His way. best friend Lala. That's the one that's on Lala that show. is on that show and she is oh, amazing. I did see okay. the advertising for okay. that. I still yeah. wasn't. In, Excited. I know. I was the same way, but I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. The reason why I'm not proud of that show is like, that show, oh, that, the show, absolutely see this. where the show brings a lot of stuff, it start, it, it just brings a, 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 like the how, how the, the millennials are living now. Mm. But it just, that's what I love about it. It's showing that, it's showing successful black people. Right. Um, it's showing, um, it's let's say, it's showing gay, straights, everybody, best friends together. It's bringing like it, it just it's just bringing a lot of light to like how we are diversity, now. Diversity, inclusion, diversity in the show. Um, or is this what is what is this a thirty? It's a uh, like it's a thirty of minute a, show. What yeah. is it? Think of a like a um be like a Mary soul Jane. food. Yeah, yeah. being Mary Jane. Like a, so think of like a, yeah. So that's the the vibe I got. I just wasn't right. like oh. I well, I'm it. telling you guys. That's why I'm, and I, so you know, I'm a support. So I'm a support our black a shows because you know, I want to know. One show I did see was um, we need to support our black shows. Was, and that show is really Mar- good. It's like hip hop. They're they're married. A little Mo is on the show, and they're like the marriage boot camp. Marriage boot camp. Of, oh god. So I think that some of the lessons that they're teaching them are actually, you know, really good lessons. Well, especially you know, Soldier Boy. The, if you watch that show, Soulja Boy Soulja got Boy checked. Soulja Boy is in a transformation he got process, checked. sincerely. Yeah. I mean, he, he and his girlfriend he as well. He got checked. He got you checked. You know, one of the things about the other young lady, Black Chandler. Her name is Lala Milan. Yeah. Lala Milan. She's in Omarion. Lala Milan. He was in with Black Chandler. And they did the whole, uh, <laughs> uh, what do you call it? Uh, they went down fast. two weeks ago. But I, I think that there's a Lala lot of lessons. Soulja Boy. Well, yeah, but now he's with Black China now. now. I've learned a lot about Soldier Boy and his history and doing business and people kind of like, you know, him having receipts of music that he's discovered. And oh, I think yeah. that that's an important conversation yeah. as well. You yeah, he's got a lot of, and, I, and I love the way that he, he like, he's really about his money. Oh, yeah. He's really about his money. He was and one he of like, the first people who took their talents to YouTube and made yeah. money strictly. He is you know, the, fir- like the first one to make yeah. it big. So, yeah. I love so respecting I love the artistry so and then the fact that the show, coupled with the show that's really educating couples on different strategies they can use to kind of, you know, decide if this is a relationship you need to be in. Along good. Along to, with drama, you know I love drama. Trick. That's why I like the show. Oh gosh, there always has to be. Listen, they, 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 like, the drama is over. Are they getting better though? Are these no? Are these people, but like, <laughs> it's over sensationalized. The last episode I saw better. is Soulja the Boy got checked. Keeps people away right. from this content yeah. though. But Soulja Boy it's got really checked content. really good by one by an OG. Yeah. OG. Drum he drum. told him, "Hold up, you don't disrespect me." And old girl from I don't know if you guys watch Love and Hip Hop. Yeah, Diamond, Diamond, Diamond. Her husband is on there. I don't know. Anyway, it's a lot of these shows. See, these shows show. can overconsume you. So it's I a great to... show. Anyway, you guys, great and hot topics. I had awesome. more hot topics. I think we over hot Aww. topics. I think 
<laughs> we'll come job. back. We'll come back. We're gonna talk about some politics yeah, and um, politics. Black yeah. history. If you want to bring that Let's up, do it. And man. we're gonna find out. We want to get. We want to get a legal moment from you. Uh, not today. Anyone? The show goes extremely downhill from this point on. All Give us a call down. at 202 656 1 bar. Salud. Salud. Radio. No, I'm just kidding. Y'all like that one? Let's Welcome back it. to WLVS Radio. Oh, love You're tuning into the open bar. Salud. I don't like either of those. <laughs> Like, he got better. <laughs> Welcome back to WLBS Radio. You tune to the open there fucking bar. Not that one. Not, Not that, that one. one. <laughs> that one back. Welcome back. Code switching. Code switching <laughs> all your codes. Uh-huh. Switch a code. Anyway, yo, I am rocking the open bar. How you say it again? Apparel. Sweatshirt. Apparel. No. Apparel. Apparel. The open bar apparel. I'm you rocking know, a nice little sweatshirt. I was in Seattle, Y'all and I meant to tell out. you this. Y'all check that out. Y'all see the back. I wish we do. 
There this was this was my favorite piece to wear when I was in Seattle. I think I wore it like every day. Is that is you that, wear it with it, the shoulder out? The shoulder out. I one? had it like a tied around my shoulders. Nice. I had it like an over the. We well, need to wear strap. it here. We got to see. They got to model it. I know. I do need to do that because in mean, Seattle it was like it was the perfect was occasion, perfect. or it's, it was that I didn't bring much warmth with right. me. So one or the other. No. Shout it, out to Crystal I Downs, one of our listeners, our great listeners. She's been rocking it. She posted her weighing it on her Facebook the other day and she uh, shouted I, us I, out. A Facebook model? It was Look at yeah, you, she bro. was pretty great. She uh, got we got like two got we got two sales mode. from her uh well, who people who said they I wanted? You said but we didn't raise no money though. What's referrals, that? Well, they haven't given us the money yet. Oh, okay. So. They just wearing the apparel. <laughs> tell, tell they just get it. But anyway, you can order these shirts yeah. online at openbartuesdays at gmail dot com. Part of proceeds to benefit local charities. Mm-hmm. We just we're looking for a great charity, so we're gonna look for you to um, yeah to help us out. Definitely Friday. Support with it. The so we could come up with our five thousand dollars. We need to you need to find some way if we can invest it. Absolutely, they're and, gonna be um, out there. And then we also found out from the Castro. Law firm that whatever mm-hmm. we match, they're gonna double it. So we're going <laughs> so far the last, zero, double zero the is last still zero. The lies, the lies. Like no, shout out to Jesse Smollett. Oh, oh no. I don't think Jesse <laughs> lied. lies. I'm, again, so again, I'm gonna say that he didn't lie. But anyway, he lied. anyway, so he, lied. So he didn't lie. It's too much. It's too much. Lie. Lie. It's, he, it's, it's he, surmounting. He it's not like he's Tevin Campbell or nothing. You know, oh, it's cut too it many. out. Moving right along to politics right. and Black problem. History Month. Moving right along. He's got too many winners. Guys, yeah. anyway. I think the biggest thing happening right now is the fact that we just want to very much, we just want to clarify that oh, building God, a wall so is not a national emergency. I just want to say mm-hmm. that for the for the people in the back, I want to say with people that might not have heard me earlier today or on social media. Building a wall is not a national emergency. But it that's is what you think, but Donald facts. Trump seemed to think it is. <laughs> so. Well, he seems to think the caravan, the, the, the influx of immigrants is national. Gun emergency. violence is a national emergency. That's true. Yeah. I did a survey today you know on what? my uh, social media. Go check that out at Crawford at Large. And the question is how young or what age should a what person learn to use uh, <laughs> firearms? So I really want to pose that question here. Because I put that question out there, should a what is the young what is responsible? Meaning you are registered. Meaning that when you okay. understand the importance of being registered, nobody should deal with a gun until you're 21. Just like you can't drive. So that's until a perspective. You're 21. All right. Uh, I, disagree. I disagree. 21. Okay. I disagree. Well, that's I not what you're looking to throw out. No. What is age? I'm, I'm, I'm looking at 12, 13. Yeah, 12, 13. Okay. You want somebody to throw out with a gun? Before we debate it, before we debate it, the proper use of a gun. Okay. See the problem. Yeah. The proper, the proper use, use and don't it. have the proper use of uh, no education. No yeah. education. No. That's true. That's the cause. And and here and here's another step, right? When you are properly trained and using a gun, you are the, the the near death life is scared out of you for even using it for like them telling you the real severe penalties of what happens when you use. I mean, a that's firearm. true. Just like when you but box and people really, when you rest in your hands, you you like hold up. Yeah, you I know, can't just those use those conversations so. put the fear of God in so many people that have never used their firearms. Right. Where I'm almost positive that a lot of people that are out here just kind of recklessly firing off have never had that. Stern talking to you know no. what and, and uh, you no, know what know and what then I, first I mean of all, I, I want to bet money. Somebody just you know, know the question is going to ask the prosecutor to ask the next happened. young person or person that they've arrested for gun violence when and if ever they've had a stern talking to about the use of a firearm. Trust. You know what, I, I want to bet. How, what are the, how many of you think you actually had that conversation? No, none of them was. How many would you think well, would say? I think they, they, they see that the effects of what, what a gun does every day. So well, they, 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 know, they know what it does. They see the effects. Because once, here's what happens. In their neighborhoods, here, they see people what die. What I, I so wanna, shout they, out, they shout out to one of our Facebook listeners on our Facebook. They said, oh. um, <laughs> no, I mean it that way, honestly. Shady on our boots. Facebook, the William... His name is Mr. Wilson, William Wilson, Hi, my Mr. frat Wilson. brother, Blue Fire. He said, "You got to get your kids ready. Yep. They are." So, listen to shout this, out right? To him. I'm not, ta- not. I'm gonna take my daughter stuff. sometime soon. Think about all the images that we become numb to as adults, right? Yep. So we're so prone to use. We're, we're, it's almost as if we see it's, be, it's become a normalized thing to the point that it's repetitive enough. It's subconsciously in our subconscious enough. What is? Really uh, gun is. violence and violence, uh, mm-hmm. uh, you know, amongst the country and a new outrage and a new issue but that, you know that, what? that it becomes a part of our subconscious that we don't even take it seriously. So it's not even almost real for. Well, look, we don't even take real things that should be a. Um, would you say this is again? Would you say the wall is not a what? 
But the wall is not a national and emergency. And so you're saying gun violence is not. You know, and then we don't even take the fact that, like, right now, it's freezing outside. 16 people were frozen to death in Chicago. To me, yeah. homelessness is a national emergency. Uh, there we go. We so keep the list going. A lot of things that homelessness people, that is one of them. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. My thing is this. Go ahead. Climate control. Okay. Not there we go. We keep control. the list going. Hold up. Right. Hold up. All let, these me just say, let me just say one thing. Flint, Michigan. Uh, student debt. Uh, Flint, mm-hmm. Michigan still doesn't have water. Yes, keep the list going. Ignoring. Come on, guys. You're doing things, great. And this brother, is, this brother or this orange man is really concerned about a wall. Yeah. But there's so many other things that. This, yeah. I mean, that think about the debt. He can be the raising debt, some money for. The debt rate of student, uh, a student debt rate right now. Okay. That is a national emergency. And see, that's one thing I say. People don't yeah. give Barack. Rock his, his his uh his props for because Barack was trying to do, if you he uh, was Victor trying to help mental that. health oh somebody Definitely. said mental health absolutely Definitely. people and that's a part people of jumping. the gun people violence jumping. significantly they need Victor to put some put some that. they need to put some uh pillows in the in the in the lake you know <laughs> so so my well, point well, of well, it well. is saying is that all of these one and, you know and, health, and obesity and, oh, oh, health is a national <laughs> emergency <laughs> people are. <laughs> so, but no, but here's why I want to I want to track with this. I want to trickle it down to say that uh, outside of a national emergency, we have a new candidate in the race. No, Bernie Sanders, Bernie Sanders. <laughs> little uh, Bernie. Uh, not gonna happen. Uncle Bernie said, "I want in." Okay, Uncle, Uncle Bernie. Bernie he couldn't even beat. Uh, we can Hillary. Bur- oh, Is you it? know what? We can no, Bernie no. Hillary, Hillary beat him. Do you guys remember the, the movie Weekend at Bernie? Selfish said? way. She beat him in a selfish way because that man would have been president had Hillary would have. That's a lie. Back you can't no, win no, one without that. the other. So, yeah, so. Do you guys remember Weekend at Bernie? With that, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sure. Uh, he had a better chance to win than he would have beat. He, he would have beat Trump. No, the the, yeah. the temperature of that country was. Bernie so, Sanders would have beat Trump. If we're not careful, then we'll have a situation that we're repeating history all over again, like we saw just, with the crowded just, field in the last mm. Democratic you said race. People are hating Hillary, and then you know, uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh, Orange Man. What was the president's name? Trump. Uh, Forty five was able to kind of pick off his incumbents one by one. And then clinched the, and he already has essentially the Republican nomination, you know, because you know who's really even if someone does run against him, he's the incumbent, he's the president, he has the loudest. You got to think about Don't it. Don't run against him. When, he's, he, when you got, he's when, when you got billions, he's not saying whatever the hell you want. Yeah. Like. So here's what I'm saying: don't is don't that re- we have to be very, very careful not crowding. Like the one deciding on a. a, a is deciding on a front runner very early on, or we're all, we're already. I, but you I, know, I, I think it's too much already right. on the Democratic it really side. Is. And I think, I think so. that a lot of people well. probably should have waited, came in stagnant. If they seen somebody else wasn't, <clears throat> you know, pulling right. their weight, you know, running. And then what does that mean, pulling but their the, weight? That's I what Hillary should have did. That's what Hillary should have did. Hillary should have. Hillary should have realized that when it was going, when it was not going her way, when it was kind of going. No, I'm it serious. She got the Democratic nomination. No, I just, no, well, no, because I'm not. I hate to say that because I love Hillary. I wanted Hillary to win, but I still think that she kind of stole it from Bernie. Well, like, that's oh a, yeah, that's mm-hmm. a very well, because my thing is Listen, because I just think that we can go right back now, and forth it, about it who stole. But, 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 because no, you have she, to be about, honest. You have to be honest. At this time, but, America no, was, was not. Do the I mean, two delegates in the, in the, in the, in the primaries. My, my, my thing is this, in the, in the, the primaries, Clinton. he didn't win. He so, wasn't even no close su- to her. He, because he, he had no super delegates. Super delegates don't have to vote the same way the state votes. So, so but, let's right. let's he won't he he be the super delegates most, for the most part. Huh? But but but, but I, I I say I like the big Democratic field because it shows the Democratic Party is not being one monolith. No, that's like, because true. It, that's it shows so that we are. We it have, shows that we're we free thinkers. From, from, from Ozzy Ocasio Ortez and so. And two Everybody just blue think dogs. They can be very diverse. Um, like, 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 um, and yeah, several like, women. It's like two women. But now very the time, you know, uh, my, my council member, Trayon White, had a unity forum mm-hmm. uh, about two Sundays ago now. And the most important thing coming out of that for me was to identify who and where I unified. Who was I? What, what kind of disconnects was I able to restore? Because there's so much of that happening at the very bottom, at the lowest level. You know what I mean? So you know what's happening, right. obviously, at, at higher levels. And so my challenge to the Democratic Party, my challenge to my colleagues, is to identify where are you going to restore? Where is the restoration for you? Even a challenge to you guys here is that if we don't start challenging ourselves <laughs> to restore <laughs> the integrity I and relationships you. and restore the integrity for humanity is that we're going to be in a worse situation than we're in right now, and we can't keep pointing the finger to say that, oh, so-and-so should have did. The question is, what do you do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do to put the integrity back? How are you going to change hearts and minds 
from, you know, picking up a gun or from, you know, uh, publicly spatting with each other or saving our country, for God's sake. Right. That's the biggest thing here to you save preach, the country. Right. And if we are not finding a way to say, here's where we're unifying, here's where right. we're building bridges. Sharice, where's your event again? Um, it's at Abigail Nightclub. Uh, I believe that's the title of it. And I'll post it. Uh, Abigail. It's I, on 15th Street, right? I believe you. I, I gotta look at the actual location, but Abigail and put look at me up at Crawford at Large. It's a event there. Crawford at Large hosts granular. Um, it's on Facebook and I have it on my Instagram. But um, but it's uh, this Friday uh, from five to nine p.m. There are calls, mm-hmm. or whatever. Uh, so yeah, my t- VI, There is a ten dollar ticket fee, and I've already gotten rid of my ten VIP passes. So. If you guys want tickets, I'll connect you with one of our nonprofit liaisons that can. Um, I don't pay for it to go to. No, I'm just understood. <laughs> you pay for value. I don't pay for And there's absolute right. value in this event on I'll Friday. I'll give you a it's donation, very, but I don't pay. Uh, I don't, we I don't accept pay to go donations. To fundraisers. But here's a bigger picture with the donations: right, is that four. we're so committed to back donations. to gun violence. Donations. Is that we're committed to changing the physical environment. The beautification mm-hmm. project is still going on. We are still raising funds for our white flag challenge, and so to get all the funding we need to put these figures mm-hmm. up. We're going to be steadfast on this, um, changing the physical lo- environment, putting books and food in communities that need them. Go ahead now. Are what is going to make that's it like where we should be buying, selling these shirts. Sell these shirts, Absolutely. Girl. Well, uh, ha, ha, ha. Sell these sell shirts. Sell these shirts. Can we yeah. sell? Can we get a table? So this is where my heart is. My table? heart is physically changing the environment. Sell shirts, boy. I, I was I joking. I'll pay. I'll pay. Yeah. Anyway, Sharice, <laughs> you are the bomb. You are doing oh, so man. much for our community. Yes. So proud Thank of you, you, my sister. Oh. You're so proud. You guys, we're going to go to a quick Thank break. You. We come right back. We're going to get some health tips from our health guru that's sitting Salud. right over here looking all, looking all oh, beautiful. Gorgeous. You get the last one. Last, one. Last, 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 last. Looking all fine. He's good. Looking fine. I'm, no, I'm, just I'm, kidding. I'm not at all threatened. Oh, oh. Anyway, give us a call at 202. What's our number? 202. Hey, they talking over there. Hello, lady. 202 One bar. We got two shows on the one.
Yo, <laughs> welcome back to WLVS Radio. You tuned into the open bar. <laughs> Salud. 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 Yo, don't forget to go and subscribe to our YouTube channel at WLVS Radio. You can see all the other shows. And you can see this show if you missed it from the beginning. You can see yeah. this show. It's a great mm-hmm. show. Don't forget to check out our apparel. I'm rocking it. I'm rocking it. Dave is rocking it. We These converge are you to the apparel every time without even right, thinking apparel. about this time. Good job. These are some great shirts, people. They're raising money. We try to raise money for and like local charities. Yeah. Made in uh, where? Made if you're serious in about America. those contributions going to our beautification projects, then I might have to sell some shirts. <laughs> we could. Yeah. But really, though, that's definitely ain't a easy. thing. Yo, of course we got our our health guru is in the building. Ooh, that's me. That's, that's, that's you. Our health that's guru. You. Show him the arm. Show him the guns, girl. Show him the guns. Show him the guns. Show him the guns. We ain't say show them. My baby, my, my baby, okay my baby is beautiful. No, but you have to show the guns. You have to show a health guru. You have to show the guns. Show the guns. Show the guns. Oh. Hey! One doesn't look, like look, like, look like a gun. One looks like one looks like a one looks like a musket, and the other one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I kind of think I, I still got it. One's an M16. The other up. one's a. Uh, oh wait, for he's uh, a jolly elephant. good fellow. For so, he's a, so you know, our gu- our health guru who is in the building. Oh, yeah. I want to know something. How do someone create like great arms? Like, what are some things they should do for, like, to create, to, like, sculpt your Definition. Arms? Like, if your yeah. arms are, like, really more small. More reps, less weight. I, um, That's a good I, idea. More, what'd you, what did you say? More reps, less weight. You could do that. That that will burn out the muscle fast versus plump it up like a eight rep or six rep uh, exercise would do. Um, but a lot of it is your diet. You know, arms have to do with your diet. Your whole body. Every, everybody, everything mm-hmm. has to do with your diet. Your, your, uh, I, since your I've cut out, yeah, since I've cut out um, chicken, beef, and pork, my body has gotten even leaner. Um, chicken, I think, beef, and pork. You said that very fast. You right. Slow down. I've cut yeah, out. Wait, chicken. Not like the Wizard of Oz. You know, hold up, hold up. Lions hold up. and the tigers pussy. and bears. Wait, you listen, <laughs> really? She tried to group that all together. I mean, so if you cut yeah, all yeah. of that out, then tell me about what's available. Uh, <laughs> seafood. Fish, okay, seafood, so you have pescatarians. Pescatarian. Okay. So did that help Turkey. you lose weight? It helps um, somebody get the, get the fluff out of my body, um, the extra um, hormones that I put in chicken uh, and byproducts. And red meats. So Salt. do you have like a meal plan? Because I want to shout out real quick Adrian Harrington, my fitness trainer, guys. I've been getting fit. You look good. Squats. Yes. You know, mm-hmm. Squats. I've been in the squats gym. For your life. Adrian, shout out to you guys. Go check him out. Adrian, Adrian too. A has so, been back when back in the day. So you did your thing. So you saying so that's one thing we say. Because a lot of people, I know, I see great arms when, when, like, y'all women, y'all like arms. Besides, y'all like, like when we wear sweatpants. But when we, when our <laughs> arms are showing, well, you know, bicep <laughs> curls are, are for everyone. Arms um, and shoulders. People I think it's love shoulders too. bicep curls and overhead press. Mm. Um, I, you know, get some thirty pounds weights and lift every day. That that that'll, that'll, that'll set day. you up. That will tone and get you sculpted, but no, the sir, cardio sir, sir, part sir, really cuts me. When I start sprinting, or um, I do that treadmill that's ran by your body, where it's you just once you run it gets right. Away. Oh, sorry, my uh, passage. You know the Flintstone type. I can't Crap remember man. what the machine is called, but it definitely does a trick. So, oh, see, and that's is my thing rotating? is like I like yeah. to do I like do to do that? a lot of cardio if I do work out. There's I haven't worked out that. in a minute. So cardio, if you <laughs> you should do cardio, and then you should do like if I do cardio and I do like light lifting because I really like want to just tone you know, up. Tone so up if this. we have to be specific for yeah. you, darling. Okay, I'll stand up. To, I'll stand no, up. Stand you can up. tell You're me. You're good. I already see you. Oh. He, you this is a you personal should, vendetta right, for right. him. Like he's you like, should. You should a, run. Why don't you start by jogging a mile a day? A mile a day. Okay. okay. And then do your workout. Didn't do my workout. He's, he's gonna, he's gonna, I wish he's my workout jog in his head for a mile a day. <laughs> no, actually, actually, <laughs> I, 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 went to gym. I haven't been to the gym too. in two months. And work out I'm in too. two months. Yeah. And so I went today, but I ran for like 45 right. minutes. I ran for 45 minutes on the treadmill. But the thing is, the consistency. And how far did you go? What was the distance? About three Bricks. miles, three point five miles. I, I mean, I lost. I, I mean, I, I counted by calories. It was like 280 calories. Oh no, you ain't moving fast enough. I ain't moving fast enough. calories. You should be uh, burning about um, six hundred calories. Eh? Um, in forty-five minutes of continuous exercise, you should burn about three hundred. Yeah. Burn three hundred calories. And he did not burn any of those calories. calories. So, 
<laughs> right. <laughs> and then, to be honest with you, uh, the and drink, that drink is six hundred. Dr- it's it's at least that drink is at so least two hundred and fifty calories too, with a simple sugar. The simple so sugar. how are you burning all those calories? I mean, well, I definitely monitor my calorie count. Like I can tell you, my breakfast is about three hundred and fifty calories. My lunch was about six hundred calories. So I do those. I'm calories. So, so break that down for dummies. So I'm what, so what, right. what is your total we're trying to get a, count. a calorie? Count. My caloric account for me because yeah. I'm different from I'm a unicorn. So you have to uh, look at what works for are you. Are we unicorns? How do we get to be unicorn? Um, I right. get I get up at five fifteen. Um, I I do intermittent fasting most days of the week, which means I don't eat my first meal till about ten thirty a.m. to eleven thirty a.m. That's a long so time. So I mean, I get up and I train and I work out. I do a smoothie, tea, but I don't eat a solid meal till about eleven. So you know, all of those things, okay. you mm-hmm. know, it's science. Um, it just depends on your lifestyle. This some makes people me feel can, good because some people sometimes can do I do that. that. I'm sometimes yeah. I'm up at five and don't yeah. eat until eleven, and I yeah. and I wonder now if that's a problem. Yeah, you're okay. It's, yeah. I feel like intermittent yeah. fasting intermittent and it's a way fasting. to um cut your fat and slim down quick. It's not for everyone, especially if you're a diabetic, you got other issues, yeah. you can't do that. Check so with like, your doctor. That's why I said like, everybody's different. Uh, you but if you're fine, it. I say try to not eat until noon. Right. Interesting. Now that is an interesting... Wow. You know, I don't think I've... I literally don't think I've ever heard that before. And I've talked to I never eat till like noon, I've never eat till like noon. Yeah, that's the thing. I pretty time. much do that. If you guys heard of not eating until Before we do those keto diets and not all that stuff. Keto perfect. doesn't work. Try, it does, but nothing. <laughs> not because you're like, this is my health Nothing you, <laughs> that you do should be over for the rest of your life. No, right. no diet yeah. should be forever. And, oh, wow. and, and the thing about it, it should be a is lifestyle that a diet change or is that a one. Lifestyle? Well, I mean, it starts off as a diet for most people and sometimes turns into a lifestyle, but what happens is you still get a built up of the byproducts of that keto. Right. A lot of cheese, a lot of meat. So you can't you shouldn't do it for more than 21, 30 right. days, 45 days mm. max. Oh, okay. And then you want to introduce some healthy things back into your diet. So that you can bring you chicken so, back maybe so or for you, well, no, we, 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 and, 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 and chicken and, and, is keto. And, 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 chicken and, and, is keto. The, the, the thing about keto is you're, you're introducing carbs back into your diet. Oh, okay. which is, so which you're is not sugar. eating until 12. Is that a diet or is that a lifestyle? That's a lifestyle. Okay, it's so a, a healthy lifestyle can consist of you not eating until so 12. 12. Yeah, intermittent fasting. That's yeah. Yeah. going. Yeah. And but what are you what are you consuming in from 5 a.m. Yeah, right. to water? Noon. Yeah, tea. I have um I have what water. I have a bottle of water in the morning, and then I have coffee, and then I have a protein smoothie, and then by then it's it's so it's you're new. you're taking in liquids throughout the day. Wow. Yeah, that Different. protein smoothie really helps caffeine. It, Caffeine is, you know, is good and for you. And you feel like it's a good right. for your energy level. Lady, another lady, thing, another lady thing you got to also we remember. We're out of time, you, unfortunately. Okay. Let's go. Another so thing great. you got to worry but about is your, uh, I want to ask this question is your blood go, type. Because different blood question. types, we got, you we have got different got diets for Right, that's why I okay. said you have to know One what question. works for you. And yeah. I would, I mean, if someone just has never done intermittent fasting, I would, like, definitely say at 8 o'clock, Eat a smoothie at nine thirty. Uh, put it in your calendar. Yeah, you have to alarm. block it in a little bit. That's so, fair. So, and I, I, I really mm-hmm. want to juice. Yeah. Is that a good idea if I want to juice? I will like, only do it for ten days. Just for ten days, max. But yeah. I don't want to like juice. Like the, I want to juice for like breakfast and lunch, it's and then maybe like have a, a, a healthy diet. Absolutely. Absolutely. That, 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 that's a, some fast. Yes. Pretty much. Uh, right. Here's my question. Before, as you show, and then we got to go I know right after transition. This. But did you guys know? And this is transitioning off your health is wealth, and so I want to just thank you for that segment. But real quick. Did you guys know that Rayford Edmund they were maybe trying, getting them out right? because of his cooperation? Yep. Smart. But how is he cooperating? And he been in jail almost thirty years. He's he he, about to he's get out. Other, he's helping other current. So I just want to say, he's still the plug. Quick, you know, that's the play though. And if you if you have a big case like murder, you know, Rayford has statute limitations, so he 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 could be pulling out people that. That's what I was saying too. I was just saying that somebody else. Free Tony Lewis Jr. Free Tony Lewis, not Jr. Because Tony Lewis Jr. is free, but free Tony Lewis. Um, but no, I want to say that there's a day of stand and be counted. There's a day to stand and be counted. I think it's March 4th. Uh, I shared the information. I'll share it again. But to, to say that you're going to be released from doing all this time while the people that you put behind bars will never get that, well, has not been offered that That's the game, though. That's, no, don't hate that's, the that's game. Hate the I want to get a legal, I want to get a, you know, the legal perspective on 
how what does that say to the rest of the world? What does that say to America? What is it? What does that say to it? It, it says and the responsibility. And it says snitch. It says snitch. And, snitch. and, and, and the responsibility. Snitch get out of jail. No, because because if, if, even even um, defendants who, who go to trial and get convicted versus ones who who plea. Right. Uh, it's always best. Judges want to hear three things. You want to hear you hear you admit, Your remorse. Be, be responsible. Be remorseful and apologetic. Wow. They want to hear at the at the very at the very least that, that you admit responsibility. If you admit responsibility, they go easier on you. Wow. If you sound remorseful and it's not like you've actually learned or, or will learn or have or have an opportunity to learn. I mean, this guy's done documentaries about his remorse. I've seen the videos. Yes. He and, and his yeah. son but, but, but his, his con is so bad at this point. It, it, it's right. so late. Anyway, it's late anyway. Right. Just releasing him is yeah. just cheaper, and he, he's it, so it, old. Regardless. It's almost seems like that's right. not even well, safe for him. Wow. It's you guys, it's not safe for him. He'll be here though. He got good. He got people straight. But next week we're gonna have some updates on the whole way for Ed. Thank you. We make sure Next you week, get more information yeah. so we'll know like where to go from. Days. Yo, we'll, we'll go to a quick break. When yeah, we we'll come, come right back, back. we're gonna have our love, sex, and relationship. Yay, Give us a call at 202 656 1 bar. Salute. Be back. Welcome back to Am I on? Yes, yeah, you're one. Here. Welcome back to WLVS Radio. Yeah. You're tuning into the open bar. Salute. 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 PDO, the love guru, is in the building. The man, I'm here. In the house. Better late than never. Yeah, today, man. Today, he has sir, arrived. Today but, but is your never, birthday. Never late is better. Happy today is my born day. And how, how old yeah. did you turn today? 44. You look great. Bro. I'm going to say 44. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. You 44. I turned 44 today, man. Yeah. Yo, happy birthday, everybody. Happy birthday. Oh, there we go. Happy to That's fly right What's there. That? I want a piece of cake happy too. Happy birthday to you. That's the wrong. Happy birthday. Come on, come on. Come on, we got this Stevie Wonderbird. Oh. 
We're not going to do Stevie Woo. Wonder Word. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, birthday to you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What kind of, no, that was, what they, kind of hell shit y'all done put they a gave me, They gave me the classic. And you know classic. it's birthday because you wear yeah, a turtleneck. So you have to wear all I black heard turtlenecks. Your, I heard your favorite outfit. cake is red velvet, right? Or it's it's one of my favorites, yes. One of your favorite? Yes. You know, I just go with the joke. I see I like when you were you do Happy it. birthday. He said but you're happy young. Birthday. A Brick said he's turning fifty one on, on he got you beat. So he's saying he's still in shape. He got That's what I'm saying. We Who young. The hell is Brick? Sorry. I going, used to Brick. think, you know, forty four was gonna be old, you know, but now I know it's young. Well, I'm forty four. He's a too. young man. Huh? I just turned forty four myself. You're lying. <laughs> exactly. It I did. did. It did. I just turned forty four yeah. last month. Yeah, they, a I month before me. celebrated your birthday, but not forty four years of that. I'm 44. Happy I'll birthday, be, my 45th, I'm going to be off the chain. We have to find an innovative to turn up. I, I, <laughs> I, I am probably still, yeah, I am the oldest in here. Tito. I'm 40. Tito is 40. What's the oldest the in here then? Tito's Freeway baby, pastor. Baby. I'm about to turn 47. 47? Yeah. You're 47. You don't look 47. 47. You look yeah, 46. Dave look younger. He look younger than most of us. He added some bass in there too. <laughs> he look 40. And it wow. helps because you're a ginger too. That's when that, you're a ginger, you never age. That, that, a what? <laughs> like, oh, yeah, he a ginger. He's a, he that is true. Gingers don't age. Yes, they do. So I've seen some. I've seen it look some kind of. He looks the youngest. <laughs> I look the oldest. <laughs> <laughs> so, Pastor, you are the author of the wonderful, the big, the best selling book, uh, That's right. Love, Love Rework. Love Rework. You're the Love right. Guru. That's mm-hmm. right. You look like you had sex today. I'm just playing. Hey, uh, hey. Sacrilegious. <laughs> Let me tell you what somebody called me and asked about. Yeah. This is crazy right here. They said they wanted to lay some hands on you, huh? <laughs> I'm not commenting on this segment. A lay their head on you. I got. I have a segment for you guys, but this was the craziest call ever. So somebody rose, called and said. Three days later, he really rose. Right. They told me. They actually got a call, and they called me to tell me the call that they got. They said that there was. Now, this is, this is kind of not funny, but then it's strange, right? That there's a young man, he's 29 years old, but he's like, I guess, a little mentally slow or whatever. Mm-hmm. But his mother takes care of him and wanted to get him off. Off oh, of what? what? For what? <laughs> get him off. Of, of, medi- of medication? Y'all no. really? In unison? No, because he, he needs really need to get these, some. He needs to get some. Did she want to do it herself? His mom. Um, she want, she, his she mom. was like, hired a prostitute. Do you have somebody who could do it? And the person called me. Why would That's they call I said, you? I said, you just get a stripper. Hey, pass us a pin. They, they called another person. I'm they got a whole flock. I am the love doctor, though. Pass <laughs> <love> doctor. <laughs> but 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 she said he was I, looking for lust. I, I he said, said to call I, me. <laughs> hold on, I gotta hear this She's story. Like, I got hold just on. the lady. No the first thing I said was. Why are we searching so hard? There's strippers out here who do things for money. But well, why would she call you? Do they know you're a pastor? What? Oh, the hey, person called me. Mary, yeah. well, Mary, he, Mary he, was a problem. He worked he with the, the sick and the shut in. It's a ministry <laughs> out here. Wait, <laughs> Mary, Mary Magdalene was a prostitute. Mary, 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 there's a lot of hoes in the Bible. You're in good company, baby. <laughs> it's true. I say it's a male or female. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that, no, that was that, that. That's just that was an interesting thing that happened. I just didn't understand that. I, I like, would be insulted. So Why? they read your no, book. Did but, they read but, the book, Pastor. Did they read your but book? But the kids right. understand that They so, read so. the book and they want more questions. Well, no, so the masturbation was not working anymore. Did it come out of nowhere or did they read so the book? Was the, it just confession? Can the kid understand what's going on or not? Apparently so. I don't have a real these. Like I said, they they the the mother called a friend. The friend called me and I was like. Just, I guess, get a prostitute. I guess, but, you, but really, so the like, friend, like you, the friend you can't just ask regular people to go. I, and, ha- I have to know the answer. Did the friend call you because they read your book and they know you're the love? Oh, yes, yeah, exactly. That's what they call they me. Call oh, they just know that you married Madeline. They call you because it was you just a whore. You know, because they said pimping ain't easy. I know who knows Mary. I know who knows Mary. I know who knows Mary. Oh, Mary, don't you weep? The they call him because they said, he said, I'm the pappy. Yeah. The Mary, Mary. <laughs> Shout out to our Facebook listener. He the said, happy birthday. He can't believe that know. we're 44. Tomorrow's Mary, cool. Mary. Okay. Need to know. Man, Shout you. out to us. Thank you, Charles, man. Appreciate that. I don't know if he's talking about me or you. I'm sure he's talking about me. Hello. Hello. (laughs) Looking great. I think your hair grew too, Ron. Ron has got a longer hair today. Okay, more. So I feel like a million bucks today, man. It was a great day today. Good. I got a chance to go eat a couple of great restaurants today. Did you eat a couple great restaurants? A couple couple of great restaurants. restaurants. I've been all over the place. He had breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Hey, the congregation lined up. Hey, hey, you know, casseroles (laughs) everywhere. (laughs) So, Pastor. He did some what? door knocking. He was acting like a Jehovah Witness today. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what, what is on your love mind today? What is your birthday? What is on your love okay, mind Okay, so today? here's the question. 
And uh, I'm going to pose it to you guys. It's a question that everybody's kind of asking. Um, heard this today, and that is, in, in 2019, what's the difference between uh, dating, um, boyfriend, girlfriend, dating, or just being friends? What's the difference between being boyfriend, girlfriend, yeah. or just dating, or just friends? Boyfriend and girlfriend. Who's in a relationship? Who's in the longest relationship? We're going to do this in some decent order. Wait, so yes. we're going to ask your question. We'll and come we have around, six minutes to do it. Let's ask the married couple first. So we have to be. We have to be. I don't think no more. We're going to go around this way. Yeah. What do you think? In 2019. What's the difference between? Boyfriend and girlfriend, or dating, and friends. Or who's the longest single in the room? Well, well, maybe, it, we should, maybe we should organize this by categories because people need to know. Let's just, let's just go around. Yeah. Okay. I think we have to disclose how long let's you've been single, though. Okay. okay. Real okay. quick. All right. Before, Before you, you answer, answer seconds, just try quick. to give your okay, credibility. You said the difference dating, between being boyfriend and girlfriend, just dating, or friends. Boyfriend and girlfriend, you are more. You feel like you're in a monogamous relationship. Monogamous. Dating, you may be dating several people, but having sex with several people in the process as well. And if and what was the third one? Just friends. Just, Just friends. friends. Uh, you may be the emergency dick in the glass or pussy <laughs> in the glass. If, if, if the relationship does I hope not the work, kids are not that's, that's friends. This if, right in, case, the, in case the dating yeah. is not good, right? Yeah, the, in case the dating is not good, they, they had a bad date tonight. See, and you got to call and make up, and you know, say you got to tell them the story seconds. and say, "Come on over he, here." So put David your been, head on my lap. They've right, been they've David. been super practical. What do you think the difference is? I think the difference is. Uh, Ownership, and that's a bad word. I know you hate that word. I think when you start calling somebody your boyfriend or you girlfriend, on definitely on a woman's level, they somebody think that they own you or they own your time, okay. or they not own. They control. I wouldn't say own. They control your time and they control your. Um, that's not dating. Hold on, hold on. That's, that's, that's boyfriend and girlfriend, right? Boyfriend and girlfriend. But, but boyfriend dating, girlfriend. you don't have ownership. Dating is that you're working towards some sort of uh, ownership. <laughs> ownership, <laughs> and then friends mean. Mind your fucking business. Why are you calling? <laughs> <laughs> so that's just Ron analogy. Okay. Hot okay. Ron analogy. Okay. I have, I have a, a slightly different thing. I think the only the difference between all of them is the commitment level and the knowledge each party has about each other. So the, you're, you're committed to a boyfriend, husband, that does commitment. There's less commitment if you're dating, but people should know that you're dating also. Okay. And when you said friends, I meant that as, as more like a like an F buddy, not like a, like we're just Fuck friends. Buddy. So if so if you're just if you're just friends and you have a F buddy that you want that you friend, friend that you F right. when you want to and right. with no expectation besides that that's different than dating because mm -hmm. you're, you're not dating them. Shout out to so our Facebook. No commitment. All right, so it's my turn now. Out, yeah, shout out to our Facebook listeners. He so, said the hold, difference hold. is friends are fucking. Go oh, ahead. Okay. Friends are fucking. So friends or I fucking. I want to say that's that different. the ahead, difference sweet. between for my personal because I'm not even going to do abstract because I know y'all over here pulling from the sky. I see I see it right through you. Uh, my personal no, experience don't. is that you feel a sense of, of which one boyfriend girlfriend uh, when you're because oh, so so mm -hmm. disclaimer my person was in the friend zone for like five years the one you with now in the friend zone yes friend zone was that, was for five that, was, years was, was, hell no okay so hold on, was the friend zone with benefits there were no benefits okay uh -huh. all right for just, just friends. friends just we friends were just, just friends friend. so now now they moved up to dating or boyfriend dating. and so we did we dated. You okay. know, and did, our did. dating was very unconventional because it was very much so on the, you know, kind Period. of work dating. You know, we were so working on work projects dating. That's, dating. that's your difference. Yeah, okay. we were work dating. So now you boyfriend, girlfriend. And now we're together. And what's and the, difference the difference from when y'all were is, friends and to where y'all are now? The they fucking is, now. <laughs> the difference is, My cousin no, not no, fucking. She waits until she get married. <laughs> like like Rick Flair. Is, we're only each other. The difference is, here's the difference. Here's when you know you're just in a relationship. When you want to tell everybody... This is your person. Did y'all see her last post on Facebook? Like, on this Instagram? is when the like difference it. is when you want to write love is, poems and everything. She won't show his face so. no farther than here, though. Right. I don't know why she won't show his whole face. The difference is when you know you're Receded involved hairline. with someone is that LeBron, you want to call up the person that is your, you know, the, your forever love. Right. And like, listen, you messed up. <laughs> okay, hold on. Do so we have an opinion from the audience? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, she had. She, she's a single right. person. <laughs> oh, okay. Difference, difference between boyfriend, girlfriend, dating. Single millennial. I don't really Friends. feel like there's a big difference between boyfriend and girlfriend and dating, only because when you're dating someone, depending on depending on the communication, it could be we're dating each other and that's that. Right. Or it could be we're dating. We're dating. People. Are you dating or single? I'm dating. She is dating. So. <laughs> 
Yo, so I love it. People, I love so it. So how many people can you see you're in a relationship with at one time? The if millennials, you're dating, y'all if dating. If you're dating, that's plural. No. I'm sorry. I, I'm if you're, dating, if there's no I'm distinction dating, between dating plural. and relationship. So here's my question. If there's no distinction between dating and relationship, how many people are you in a relationship right now with? Well, no, no, no. I feel like I have like five boyfriends right now. Okay. See, that's, see you guys, no. yeah, you guys yeah, exactly, wonder why exactly. I asked that okay, question. Okay, so that's true. This is so just being honest, right? Reason, but they're all relationships. <laughs> but boyfriend, we said, we ask him what's the difference between boyfriend, girlfriend, dating, and friends because people, people struggle with trying to really define it. And we actually got about three or four different answers already today. Yeah. So mine was the right one. What, what I'd like to say, okay, what I'd like to say about it is I think that these categories really emerge for the uh, the rest of society. Like, the individuals in it, I think they know what it is. Like, like each one of the guys that she might be seeing no, or, it, or the ladies that, that I could be seeing, right? No, it wasn't just... That's not they all you, understand exactly no. what... Hold on, hold on, hold on. They understand what it is. It's society outside that wants to be able to point and say what it is. They want to wow. say that's why I tell you don't Let put your relationship on Facebook because everybody be questioning that Let shit. Let me clear this up. They, they want to know what is is this a this or is it this was that. And so when they you wanna, break they up, they want to know it. everything. They Pastor, <laughs> love guru, I need to make this one insertion. Okay. Do not get caught up in the we already know what it is and you've never had a conversation about what it is. No, I no, be, no. I Where is this going? No, don't get caught up. <laughs> <laughs> Do not get we know what this is. Well, that's we have, we have a question. Number one question. question. Okay, question for the no. audience member from our Facebook. Okay. Please okay. don't get insulted. This is just the man, the, the messenger. They said, did you did you let them all hit? <laughs> when I said I had five boyfriends? The messenger yeah. said Of that. course not. Of course not. I you, said that. You got to pick that. and choose. Each one has levels. They have she levels. She ain't do that. This. Don't be talking about my girl no. like that. There are levels no. to this this dating game. And what's you funny, can, what's funny can, is so that. How do you determine which one you're, you're intimate with, with if you're but, together but no, with all of them? But certain ones. We it will. depends on the time I spend. It depends on the level of I, yeah. what I feel like giving so to them. So then that makes a difference. And, okay. And, can you tell the, the, the listeners that no. Can you hear me? Yes. No. Can you hear me? I know I'm not having sex with all and, of and them. And the funny part about it is that even though she ain't having sex with some of them, she still has them committed to her, right? Or, or, or if, I, if I call you, you better answer that phone. You better answer that phone. That's them. That's, the, that's a control that's thing. That's some stupid ass commitment. motherfucker. And, and how, how many gifts did that's you get for Valentine's Day? Oops. Yeah, a lot. I'm not mad. Oh, wow. I, I, oh but damn! The, but the question is, do they know Amazon you have five boyfriends? Amazon was at the door all day. Do they know I have five boyfriends? Do they know you have five boyfriends? No. No. no, they know no. you have four. They don't ask. They don't. They don't really. Because if you don't, don't look to dig, see, if you don't look to dig, and if you don't ask questions, then you're not ever going to get. That's not a relationship. Uh, are you, are I you, never said I was in a relationship. So they want to. They want to see you. I, are you open to that? On camera? And it doesn't work. I'm sorry. You open it so they can see you on camera. Do you, don't. You don't have to if you don't want to. No, stay anonymous because they don't watch you. I don't care. Stay anonymous. No, exactly. The Gucci slide, not, not the not Gucci, Gucci slide, not Gucci. and the shade. Go ahead, PDO, because we run out of time. I want to make yeah, sure you get to Okay, so I say I think talk. society at large likes to simplify things, relationships in a way that they really shouldn't be simplified. I, I don't think you can just say this is boyfriend and girlfriend, this is dating, or this is friends. I think because as she as as Sharice said, she was five years at the friendship level. Some people would be like, it don't take five years. A lot of women would be like, it don't take five years to get to know this or that, or whatever. And then it, mm-hmm. it progressed or evolved into the boyfriend. So I'm saying you could be at different stages and sometimes you could be testing the next well, stage. Here's well, what I want right. to say to that. I want to say that what's most important is that you are crystal clear between whomever you're involved with. Okay, so so here's what I want to say. Here's what I want to say. Here's the thing about that, though. Be very good. Before you say this, I want to say that do not go on the, the oh, I'm assuming this mm-hmm. is the fake. No, right? no, not. But it's not assuming. I, but but see, and here's you what have to here's ask, what you what are we doing? Here's what you can't take twice, away though. You're not doing anything. No, but here's what you here's what you can't take away. People do know where they are. That's mm. all that matters. You you know where you are. So so it's like having. And a lot of times when a woman asks, where are we going with this? When the woman asks that question, what she's really trying to do is she's trying to get you drag you further into a commitment. It ain't like you really want to know Men where ask we're going. That question too. Men do ask that question. Not no, really. No. Men ask sometimes, the sometimes they do. Sometimes yes, they do. Bitch yes. ass. the female. No. Yes. The question that men ask is, where are we going to get the draw? No. Men, <laughs> men Not like that. same gender relationships. <laughs> all, there are people who catch That's feelings sooner feeling than hard. others. Period. Point blank. Let's just be clear. There are human <clears throat> There are human aspects to this, but okay. there are people who exactly. Are now, And what I want to leave finally and say is this, that again, remember, you cannot treat relationships that have to do with the soul like Amen. business or math right mm-hmm. numbers always add up the same way and subtract the same way they're not going to change 
But when you're talking about a person, an individual with a soul who has experiences and has thoughts and has this, different levels of education or comprehension, all those things factor in. So it's like you mm-hmm. can't, you can't uh, do relationships like it's not cookie cutter. A it's, better it's, question it's, really is, can you be with someone and not in love with them? Absolutely. Yes. yes. Everybody can. Absolutely. Of course, all men would ask, answer course. yes. Not yes. Answering Overwhelmingly. 30 Overwhelmingly. Hold on. It's, a, it's, a, it's a ton of women yes. who are with men that they're not in love with. Yo. I'm just asking a question. Well, I I don't know. I personally do you love your boyfriend now? I personally feel like you want to have. (laughs) He waited for five years. That shit is that shit built up. (laughs) You ain't getting none in five years. I just don't understand what love has to do with relationship. My thing is relationship should always be. He ain't been getting none from her. Relationship (laughs) should always be a a a professional, a personal, a business matter. You should be even a marriage. I think that I think that I think that you should fight for the fairy tale. Go ahead, get your fairy tale. Fight for the fairy tale. I definitely don't suggest that. Guys, we. I definitely don't suggest time. that. We're out of time. <laughs> we had a time out. show. Before we go, we got it. We got it. We got. I need everybody to put your drink up for my man Passy. We turned forty four. Forty four. Happy birthday, Passy. We Thank love you, bro. You happy birthday, Passy. We love you. Come get some Thank cake. Thank you. I like. I like the y'all to come party with me though. No, I'm booked. But um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, where you partying? Where you partying? Where you partying? Church service. Right. Yes, We're yes. gonna come to all three services, exactly. Pastor. Play hey, in thank the you. church. That's so what, what are we partying? Kaya, what are you Kaya. doing? Is that what you're doing? Because I know every year you do service your church for your birthday. At least we have cake to eat no, today. Yeah, we we're not doing anything like major special with the church, but we're gonna be like really we're gonna get together, and play some cards. I'm having a big space. I party. like space. What is space? Send when me is this? Space. Really Send huh? me all when? space. You can. Oh, you can tell us. You gonna week, bring your boo with you? I got you. He got a lot of place space first. So anyway, everybody put your drink in. There we go. Everybody. Ginger, grab your drink, Ginger. Ginger, grab your drink. Sorry. Yo, Salud. had a great show. Salud! Salud. 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 Salud.